What is happening here is 3 in here of time here presenting you with something a little bit different. Now as some of my fans know, people who have been around, uh, I really basically have only recorded and uploaded Minecraft, but since the beginning I've been planning to branch out into other stuff and kind of get to some other games and record other stuff besides just Minecraft. And I, I thought I would start off with a game that I played a lot when I was younger as a kid and I really enjoyed and played a lot and put a lot of time into and really liked and and I really wanted to show you guys some of the games that built the backbone and the basis of my video gaming now you know I don't consider myself a uh, avid gamer in by any sense of the word or an addicted gamer or a serious elite gamer uh, I'm definitely not as serious about games as I was when I was young. I was very serious when I was young, but not anymore. I'm just sort of, I've sort of gotten away from that as I try to get a professional career in pharmacy and uh, do cool things. And uh, so, but I would like to show you guys sort of what formed my video game background, if you want to call it that. So uh, we're gonna introduce this game in just a second, um, but. Uh, it's kind of a lot different than Minecraft. <laughs> it's going to be a very different. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully you'll enjoy seeing something I played a lot as a kid. Uh, so the game is uh, SimCity 3000 Unlimited. Um, a little bit about this game. Uh, when I was a kid I got this. I played it a ton. And then I stopped playing it. And then two years later I was like, you know what, I want to play this game again. So I went to install on a computer and it got to the serial number stage and I didn't have the serial number. So I just didn't really know what to do. I was at a stage when I didn't know, you know, there's whole websites devoted to this problem. <laughs> and uh, so I asked my dad to solve it because he was, he's pretty good with computers. And so he came and he's like, all right, I'll try to fix it for you. And he, he looked at it and basically what he figured out is there's a flaw in Maxis's design of this registration, this installation where at the serial number thing you can literally enter all zeros and it will work so it goes without saying that he got it to work and I played it and basically as a kid I played this a lot but I was never really successful in it I had one or two towns one or two cities that were really good like huge I was overflowing with cash but most of them they went red so I don't know hopefully now that I'm older I understand some more stuff maybe it'll be a little easier maybe not we'll see if I'm doing anything wrong uh, like I said it's been a while since I, I played this I used to know a lot of the stuff about the game but I never knew everything and I'll, I'll show you some I'll tell you some stuff while I'm playing that I never really understood wasn't sure what it meant or maybe what I think it meant but I'm not so sure and uh, if you have any advice or anything uh, tell me because it has been uh, quite a few years I'd say eight years <laughs> I don't know it's been a while since I played this game I can't remember uh, but uh, it would have had to have been before junior high which was at least eight years ago so uh, it's been a while so I've never success considered myself a successful mayor really a successful sim mayor, but uh, hopefully this time I will be with your help. So let's get started. Alright, my city name will be St. Louis, because that's where I live. My mayor name will be Caleb. I'll go with easy. I'm going to have my start date at 1900. And we'll, we'll take off disasters. Uh, if you guys want disasters back on, that's cool with me. I'll turn them back on. Uh, but I think just for now, I do not want them on, because they cause a lot of mayhem and they kind of mess stuff up. Uh, which I guess I realize that's the point. But if you want to back on, I'll turn back on. Um, let's see. I want to look like St. Louis, so yeah, that. I don't know what kind of tree. Alright, those are redwoods. Palm trees? No. I don't even know what that is. I mean, those look like snow place, like snow trees, like uh, pine trees. I feel like those are what I need. Alright, the houses. Uh, let's go with that. Alright. Alright, hopefully, uh, this isn't a failure, guys. Oh, oh, what? Okay. Alright, um, okay, I remember this. Alright, regenerate terrain. Uh, we want more land, I think, less water, and more trees. We want lots of trees. I remember that from the game because of pollution. You want more trees. Uh, let's put more water. No, never mind, let's not put more water. Uh, jeez. Oh, there we go. That's pretty nice. 
Let's get rid of that. Let's put up some more water. A little bit more. Alright. Hopefully, we want to get a relatively flat place. I don't want to have to do a lot of customization to this, this thing. Alright, let's see. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, wait. We should probably turn the mountain sizes down, huh? That'd probably help. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. You know what we pre probably could just do is take that. Take this right here. Just go like that. Guys, I don't know if you know this about St. Louis. There are not a lot of hills. Uh, we just solved that problem, I guess. <laughs> I guess that works. Alright, um, then let's go ahead and put some trees here. Dude, guys, you gotta custom design your place. You know what I'm saying? Put some of those trees there and there. You want trees, guys, because you get some pollution going on in your town and trees. Trees do actually counteract that in real life too. And uh, go to science class guys. Attend. Attend is good for you. Uh, although I don't attend all my classes. Don't tell my mom. But uh, yeah, we're going to put some trees because people do not like to leave the cities. I don't know why. I don't know what their problem is. I like, I personally like living in St. Louis and smelling smoke everywhere I go and feeling like I'm dying. Actually where I'm at it's not that bad. But uh, St. Louis, I don't know how St. Louis is in terms of pollution. I can't imagine that they're real good in terms of <laughs> or in terms of not pollution. So I imagine their pollution is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty bad there. But I might be wrong. It may, it may be pretty good. And uh, so we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna put any mountains. I know some of you are like, oh, do uh, wind thingies, the wind power things. Well, no. And uh, I don't really care about those too much. And as far as uh, where I started, I started in the 1900s. I always think it's cool to go up with the inventions. And so I want to be sure and do that. Alright, so we have lots of trees all over the land. And I'm going to accept this terrain. And hopefully hopefully I didn't do something wrong. Recycling is a great idea. See, the recyclers in this course. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I like the one tip about there are no cheats in this game. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let's see, let's get this started. Power plant. Alright, let's see. Are slightly cleaner and provide a little more power. Okay, how much more power? Not a whole lot. Alright, let's go let's go with it. Alright guys. Let's keep it away from the water. Uh Okay, I like to have a power center, guys, so this is going to be weird. But I'm going to build this here. Alright. And I'm going to... I need to be closer. Alright, and then I'm going to take a power line. And I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to build my birds first. Let's see. Oh, uh, no. I'll have money for that, I guess. Calm down. I'll do it later. Alright, so, hopefully... Alright, let's turn this music down first of all. I do like the music in SimCity. I've always been a big fan of that. I like the jazz that they play lots of times. And uh but for now, uh I don't want that to be blasting over me. I may change that later in the editing videos. Um I wanna make some square roads first of all. I may be making too large of a road right now. Let's just start small. Let's start with this, this, and this, and no. Alright, alright, there we go. This is one thing about this it costs money to demolish in some city, which is more realistic, but if you play like any game, you get money back when you demolish stuff. Whereas on here they're going for that reality stuff, which always bites me in the butt. In real life and in fake life, guys, reality is is a terrible thing. Not actually, though. I mean, reality is not too bad. You can't blame it. I mean, it's just keeping it real, you know. That's a bad joke. All right. I like to have these square plots. I think that a good thing in a city is a city with a a perfect square grid. Now this is obviously far from a perfect square grid, but I tried my very hardest, I promise. And there you go, we have a perfect square grid. Alright, now, we're keeping it paused because 
we want to now my first goal is to get some power to these places okay and then I want to build I want a zone I don't remember I, if I remember correctly light residents don't need water hopefully I'm not wrong in saying that hopefully these trees don't cost me money to demolish oh my gosh they do Alright. 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 Also, I'm gonna save. I'm a big fan of, of that frequent save. This is it as. Hmm. Finally in St. Louis. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we have saved. We have resident zoning. Okay. First of all, one thing I've never really understood uh, is what this means. I'm pretty sure if it's high, that means you have excess. No, if it's high, maybe it's what you need, and if it's low, it's what you don't need. Not completely sure. Don't don't hold me to that. Um, something else I want to do. I would like to build an industry. I think we need a little light industry right here. Okay, let's just build that for now. Let's also go ahead and build a police station. I know there's a way to. How do you look at this? Uh, let's see. Okay, I want to see like how much area this covers. I guess I guess I have to build it first. Huh? All right, let's go with a, a police station here. I must look at how much. It did. All right, we're hoping for good things here, guys. Uh, there you go. Alright, so zones are in there. Okay, alright, we should be good. Alright, let's just build that. Let's get a fire station in here. Dang it! Is there like a. Can you undo in here or something? It's freaking retarded. Alright, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my money doing that. And then, uh, we'll build a, a school right here because people like schools. Uh, and then, I think we need a prison or a, oh, a jail. Because I think that's probably pretty important. Alright, they may not be happy that I put the jail there. But, alright, let's see. I think that we're good enough to start. I may want to put some water in here. So, right, let's see. Let's see what happens, guys. Alright. <laughs> kind of nervous. It's been a long time since I've, I've played this and seen what happens. I want to build a landfill soon because they're good. Oh, oh, oh no, hang on. Wait, pause. Pause. Okay. No, you guys go away. I don't, I don't like them. They're mean. Yeah, you're not going to be able to farm here, guys. I hate to tell you. Because <laughs> farms, I, I don't know if farms serve any real purpose on here. I got, I've had farms before, but, uh, I mean, I've never really seen them be terribly useful. But, uh, let's raise those taxes up to eight. Uh, and then get those ordinances that make us the money there you go farmers market parking fines legalized gambling uh, and we'll get rid of those if they want them to, us to I think and uh, ordinances business deal we don't have any business expenditures we're uh, already spending a ton of money on stuff okay alright year to date cash flow alright we need to make some money guys so Let's cut back on those police costs and fire costs and education costs until we get. Uh, I just want to cut back on that until we get people actually here because there's no reason to have it otherwise. I don't think. I don't know how soon that'll bite me in the butt, but we'll find out. I don't want to have be paying my police until there's people living. A bargain or slum. Well, I'll screw you too, you know? Alright, let's see. Okay. Alright, well, while they're deciding on if they like us or not, um, we might as well build a water tower. Uh, Alright. Let's start with a water tower right here. I may be doing everything wrong, to be honest. It's been forever since I've played this, but, uh,. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure a water tower does not need 
a connection to a water source. Uh, do we have industries in here? Do we have people? Is anyone going to move in? What do we gotta do to make people move in? What is this? Commercial tax is low. My commercial taxes are not low, but thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. My water tower is not not working. Alright, let's see. Water. They pump the same amount of water no matter where they are placed. Alright, then pump my water. Oh, it probably needs power, doesn't it? Alright, let's get in there, I guess. Boom! Okay. Um, I don't know what else we have to do to make people move in. Hmm. Move. Move into this place right here. There needs to be jobs, I guess. Which there are. Several, right? Alright. Alright. Move into my town. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, like I said, I haven't played this a whole lot <laughs> lately. It's been a while, so hopefully we don't just crash and burn right here. Alright, let's, let's keep this up. Because the sim kids say they can see something from there. No one's here. Alright, come on. Let's get this show on the road. Somebody move into my town. Anybody? Oh, snap. I just got some people. I didn't get anybody yet, though. Let's, let's kick this kick this baby up over here. All right. So I guess this means that we have need for everything, technically. I don't know what we got to do to get them to build more stuff. I think that I need to cut this now. It's too big. Okay, I'm not wrong in doing that. No, don't be paused. Come on. All right. Schools. Oh, oh. oh we should probably. Okay, alright, we have people, so we need to get some schools now. <laughs> That's probably a, a good idea. Uh, teachers on strike. Alright, well, I wish my teachers would go on strike. Not that I actually wish they would, like, quit getting paid because they're on strike, but I basically would like to not have school, is what I'm saying. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is... Oh, that's the whole year. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can I can run with that. Okay, let's pay underpay them a little bit because I mean, what are they doing for me? Um, I've always learned that on here that roads are not a real good thing to undercut on. Yeah, look at that. You don't need to. I guess you don't need to water a residence, huh? Oh, get those schools back in. All right, let's see what's going on in Sintown. All right, we wanna we wanna get into the green for St. Louis teachers. Uh, there you go. Happy? There you go. Alright, I guess everybody's happy now. Uh, it probably made me a push. Huh, though? No. I mean, I'm losing money, so I just need to get people moving in here, I guess. Okay, I guess the thing is telling me I need more industrial zoning. So let's get some industrial zoning in here. How do you make them not be like that? That sucks, boss. Alright, let's put... Alright, I'm trying to make a farm, guys. I don't know. I don't want to make a farm. You know what? Screw that. The industry needs to be close. I learned this in politics class, guys. We play like a, sim a version of Sims in politics. It's kind of weird, but uh, we do. Oh, oh, they'll demolish the trees on their own. But we'll lot da. Okay. There you go. Now we have enough of those. I think we need a little bit of commercial. I'm going for light. I don't know if if you like might as well not go for light or not, but oh well. uh, I don't think they need water. But I'm not gonna give it to them. Alright, here we go. Boom. There's some uh res some commercial. I'm pretty sure this means that you need more, so Hopefully it does. I think if it's down, that means you have too much. You have like an excess. I'm hoping that's what it means. Alright, let's go talk to my board. 
Sims demand tax relief? Yeah, screw you, dude. I'll demand. I'll tax your relief or something. <laughs> I'll give you tax relief if you stop being such a butthead. All right, let's lower education. And uh, yeah, you don't need money for to educate people. Are you kidding me? Let's put that there. Put that there. Uh, let's see, expenditures, income. I wonder. Alright, we're still not making enough money. We need more people. Need more stuff.